you with the pitiless, merciless oppression, the corruption. They have corrupted the political process around the world. They have corrupted the economy around the world. They have corrupted the marketplace around the world. They have corrupted money. Money. The thing that you have in your pockets that you used to buy and sell, which today is made of uh, paper. You got something in your pocket? Paper? Are we supposed to, to recognize that as money? Huh? Yeah. And tomorrow, of course, the paper is going to disappear. Huh? And then a new kind of money is going to come to replace it. Huh? And the new money is going to be invisible. You can't see it. What? Invisible money? And the new money is going to be intangible. You can't touch it. What are you talking about? Money I can't see. Money I can't touch. Yeah? I'm, I'm supposed to accept that as money? Nah. Only somebody who has the brains of a jackass will accept money you can't see and money you can't touch. Those who corrupted money by taking away real money and replacing it with artificial money, paper money, and then cause the paper to fall in value. And as the paper falls in value, wages lose their value. And then of course the chief personnel officer, CPO in Port of Spain, have teachers demonstrating in front of the CPO office and striking your right feet, wages falling in value. Because the paper falling in value. And then when they have completed their process using paper, of corrupting the world through that through a system of legalized theft, legalized theft, they can rip off mankind. Then they move to the next stage, which is to enslave mankind with a new financial slavery. And so the paper will disappear. You don't believe me? Just sit there and wait. Darulov, of course, has absolutely no knowledge about that. They are concerned with more important issues. Darulov is concerned with far more important issues. When all the paper disappears, then electronic money takes over. <laughs> it's already showing its ugly head. And with that electronic money, financial slavery comes to the world. Financial slavery comes to the world. You can't take your money out of an account, bank account. How are you going to take it out? No, there's nothing to take out. Because only electronic impulses in machines in the bank. All that you could do is to transfer your money from one account to another. That's what you could do. They know how much money you have. You can't hide it from them. They know how you're spending your money. They know where you're spending your money. <laughs> they know where you're getting your money from. Everything they know. They could type in any amount of money they want to type in. And make any amount of money they want. Those who control the system. And they could wipe out your bank account if they want. Nobody to stop them. Who controls the banking system in the world? Your worst enemy, says the Quran, the Jew. Not all Jews are your enemies, isn't it? Not all. Those Jews who wage war on you because of your religion. They are your worst enemies in the Quran, says the Quran. And so they corrupt everything. A world in which sex Sexual relationship is absolutely corrupting. And our young people now go on the internet with all the pornography and the videos with all the pornography. Our young people now begin to dress following others until eventually they're almost new. Yeah. And then you have rapes all over the place. And society is collapsing. Everything falling apart. What is it that has hit us? It is Gog and Magog. The world order of Gog and Magog. 
When will it end? And how should we respond to it? Let us take the first subject. When will it end? There is a link between the Jal, the Antichrist, and God and Magal. And it is not any kind of intellectual arrogance on our part when we say that only the Muslim, only the Muslim, who has the knowledge of the Quran and the sayings of the Blessed Prophet, alayhi salatu only the Muslim can explain the subject of the Antichrist and his link with God and Magal. The child uses Gog and Magog as his right hand and his left hand. The Antichrist is in a dimension where we can't see him. Remember that. When he is in a day like a year, we can't see him. He's in stage one. When he is in a day which is like a month, we still cannot see him, but he's in stage two. When he is in a day which is like a week, we still can't see him, but he is now in stage 3. At the end of stage 3, he will now enter into our dimension of time. His day will be like our day. And so we will be able to see him. At that time he will be a Jew, the Antichrist. He will be a young man. He'd be powerfully built. He would have curly hair. Where would he be? On earth. Jerusalem. The Holy Land. Ruling the world from Jerusalem. From what would appear to be the throne of David, alayhi salam. With what would appear to be eternal rule. Then the Antichrist would say, I am the Messiah. And lots and lots of Jews and lots and lots of Christians, I believe, particularly those around George Bush, would accept him as the Messiah. Then, of course, he could rub his hands and say, Mission accomplished. By my calculation, I think we're about 50 years away from that, but of course, I can be wrong. But in order for the Antichrist to achieve his objective, he needs to liberate the Holy Land. Number two, he needs to bring the Jews back to the Holy Land to reclaim it as their own. Number three, he needs to restore a state of Israel in the Holy Land and get the Jews to believe that this is the Holy Israel of David and of Solomon. And number four, he has to get that state of Israel to become the ruling state in the world. The Antichrist uses the world order of God and of Magog to achieve these objectives. It is as plain as daylight. It is that white world order which has made it possible for the Holy Land to be liberated. 1917, British Army. It is that white world order which has brought the Jews back to the Holy Land to reclaim it as their own. It is that white world order which has caused the state of Israel to be restored in the Holy Land and it is not an essentially Jewish state. That Israel is a white European state masquerading as Jewish. It is a Euro Jewish state. The Jews who are our cousins, the Jews who are of Semitic origin, not European origin, those Jews are second class citizens in Israel. And those Jews are constantly complaining about racial discrimination against them in Israel by the white Jews. 
And it is that white world order which is now poised. The world order of Gog and Magog which is now poised to deliver to Israel the rule over the whole world. We have said in previous lectures that there is a there is an uncanny similarity between an act of terrorism which occurred in the summer of 1914 and which paved the way for the First World War which delivered the liberation of the Holy Land for the Jews.